Okay, upper right hand corner. Yeah. And so it's I it says grid view. It's grid view, together mode, then show myself in the grid is the third down. Oh, see, I don't have that. Oh. It's weird. Uh it's probably because my computer's old as shit and I honestly don't know Maybe. when the last time it got updated or anything was, so <laughs> And if I do something to it now, it might explode. All right, let's not have an exploding computer. Yeah, that would be bad. That would be very bad. What did you do today that you were out and about at night with the family? Uh, we went to go hang out with uh, some friends from church and do like a Bible study thing. So. Oh, nice. I was just mentioning to somebody that I'd like to do a Bible study at some point when I have time. I'd like to do a weekly thing. I have a church right down the street that I'd like to go to. Yeah, so that's kind of what what we're doing is we're going, we'll go over to their house and then um, kind of go through the stuff that went was in the sermon and then kind of bullshit about it a little bit. Do you go to church on Sundays or can't you make them because of your schedule? I, I try to. Um, sometimes it's just not possible with how tired I am. Right. But I'm trying to make a, a more like conscious effort to be going. Yeah. I wanted to do that as well years ago. Yeah. But I think it has to be when I'm on a day schedule and I will. Yeah. It's, it's way I, too difficult. I right did now. it when I was on mids and when we were living in San, in uh, the city that I work and okay. <laughs> like, I would literally get off work, go straight to church, help out there. Cause I like helped them run their security stuff. Okay. And then, like, I would literally be there till one, two o'clock in the afternoon, go home, and then literally pass out That's for too like much. an hour. And then I was, I was non-existent the rest of the day. Yeah. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't awesome. <laughs> no, it's by far not awesome. So I'm looking at our calendar, and I want to send uh, Matt Voltner a date to okay. record. So I think he wanted to do Sundays. Yeah. He so was he was a Sunday guy and then Yeah. Um Kwame. Yeah. He's he was he said he was Sunday either day is fine. Yeah. Okay. And he's your time coast, your your time slot. Yeah. So yeah. He said his kids are usually in bed by eight or something. Yeah. That's um usually what we got. So maybe um August seventh, it's a Sunday. Uh hold on. I think the seventh I can't do. Well, so I so we can. won't record just, that I, weekend. We could. It just may, I may not have the most energy because I think that day, and I got to double check with Annie. Um, we're supposed to be doing a Junior Giants event at Oracle Park. Oh, awesome! So, All right, because the following Sunday I'm on vacation. That whole week it's our 30th yeah. anniversary, and I don't know what kind of shape i'm gonna be in that sunday night <laughs> trying to get back <laughs> we'll, on schedule we'll, we'll, yeah we'll just plan on that sunday not happening um no look, okay so we got next recording should be the first on a monday okay. yes Let, let's just shoot for the seventh um okay if i gotta if i gotta do a line of coke or or toot up with a little meth then so be it dude all right we'll make I'll, this shit happen i'll send them that's, an invite that's my level of dedication yeah, it's awesome. I don't. You're you're way more dedicated than me. <laughs> Before I start doing blue meth. Yeah. No, no. The clear stuff. I don't want to get hooked on it. <laughs> oh, okay. So we still want to do the um, Uvalde shooting. I didn't look at any video, to be honest with you. Any further okay. and further detail, like we were going, we talked about doing, uh, watching it in further detail. And I got to tell you, I don't even know what day it is right now. Okay. Sunday. Uh, so so let's plan on this, right? Next week right. will be episode 50. Okay. So let's do episode 50. Like anatomy of a mass shooter. <laughs> okay. You want me to do some... Re I'm working all week. I only have if Wednesday you get, If you Thursday get a chance, out. if you get a chance to look at... Like I have the timeline pulled up. Do you but, have a link to the video? Uh, I saw I, it at work and I don't remember what... Yeah, so the, there's... a a bunch of them that are going All that right. are out there, whether it's 10 minutes long or like three hours. Okay. Uh, I'll, I can look at something Tuesday. We get the rookie. So I'll have more time because I won't be handling as many calls Tuesday. 
Yeah. Because well, he'll be with us FTO. You so. could just have him. You could watch it with him as as. No, training. I won't have him. <laughs> oh, okay. He'll be with the other. I have him Friday, um, because he's gonna. He's only got nine shifts. Nine shifts left with us before he's on his own. Before he's enter shadow phase. Phase. And uh, he he's gonna, gonna ride with it? me Friday or. Oh yeah, he could go right now. I think. Okay. Yeah, he's he's really good. Um, so. Uh, tomorrow being Monday, he's not, he doesn't work Mondays. We'll, if we're busy, we're busy. It's, you know, we have to handle our own shit, but Tuesday he'll be handling everybody's shit. So that'll give me more time to, <laughs> to look at the video stuff. But yeah, I, I can, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look at it in depth on Tuesday. And then, uh, we can talk about that on next Monday. week on episode the first. 50. Yeah. So, uh, I was talking, I got an email today from JP over in the UK. And he said to say, hey, hope you're doing well. Uh, but they've, oi, they've completely. I don't, I don't know if that's, no. I, know, I know it's kind of a regional thing, but I, don't, I just like doing it. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's either because of, um, what's his name? Oh, shit, did I just freeze? Okay. Um, from Ted Lasso, what's it? Roy. Oh, Roy, Roy Camp. Roy Camp, he says it. And then in um, The Boys, of course. Butcher. Okay, I it. still haven't watched it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I know you say this every time that I say like, yeah. I, uh, I thought you'd get. I, I thought you would have watched it by now. No, Dude, I so, don't have like any time to watch. Like I have my YouTube videos that I watch. Like I'll watch like John Malecki stuff or like Mister Build It and and the Handcuffs and Sawdust podcast and and, and Marazza Woodworking. I do watch yours. Thank you. Um, I I very rarely watch our stuff because I don't like looking at myself. <laughs> <laughs> me neither it's, but it's like just the, one of those things i like the watch hours it builds up when you just let it play in the background uh, well luckily we've got on my phone so i don't have something to fucking YouTube. just play it in the background you put it up on your mdt and your squad when you're driving around and let it play there we go maybe i'll use my uh i'll use my department phone just kidding ia i would never <laughs> do that yeah oh speak anyways back to ia and jp in the uk it's a lot of letters there um in his email he said that his department after or after one year almost has finally shot down the podcast and officially stated no you cannot do a podcast wow isn't that some bullshit that's pretty pathetic yeah so he actually wants to join us again so uh i guess because then he's not doing the podcast <laughs> right he's on our podcast as he's a guest. a guest on a podcast right so i want to okay, have i made a sign today you want to see it i do want to see it Oh, dude. Whom shall... Well, no, go back, because I need to read the first part of it. Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Here I am, send me, Isaiah. That's awesome, dude. It's a. It's the thin blue line. Yes. It's just black bar, blue bar, black bar. I have that flag, actually, and I've put it up outside, and someone's like, what is that? Okay. Uh, that's awesome. Is that going to be on your uh, Etsy page? Yes, this one will. Did, did you make... The template with the cricket and then paint the letters on? Those are those are all vinyl. Or sticker. Okay, so you just cut the letters out on the yeah, cricket. Yeah, so we just cut the on. letters out and then just put them on there. Yeah. And so I got to still put some uh, polycrylic on there. Nice. But that was the, the law enforcement-themed flag that I was toying around with doing that I painted it last week and then put the letters on today. All right, I like it. I have so. nothing to show you except <laughs> I'll show it. Stick with me. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, now we're moving the entire camera. Hey, you, I, I saw it, you son of a bitch. And that's, I'm moving the whole computer, not the camera. <laughs> um, yeah, it came yesterday, I think, or the day before. I didn't open it yet because I need to. I think I want to do an unboxing video. Huh. It's the Surf Prep, uh, Surf Prep POV8, eight gallon capacity HEPA filter. Automatic vacuum. filter cleaning, sustainer compatible, wet dry optional vacuum. Basically, so I, there's a lot of words to say that it sucks. It does <laughs> suck pretty well. So I ordered, um, after going through the, the paperwork and stuff, and I signed the contract for the affiliate program, and then I ordered everything. And then I ordered an adapter because I want to hook it up to my miter station as well because I have that okay. loud shop vac that's yeah. super, super loud. So I ordered a two-inch adapter to go over the small hose. 
And then Hannah sent me an email and she says, I see you put your order in. I think you mistakenly picked a, an adapter that's not for that. So I took it out. <laughs> I'm like, don't. No, I, I wanted that. that adapter. I need it for my <laughs> other. She's like, oh, man, I'm so sorry. I dropped the ball on that. So then I spoke to Wendy in customer service and uh, she hooked me back up with making sure I get the right adapter out plus the regular adapter. There's so many hose things to go with this. I have that Rockler, you know, the Rockler ribbed hose that you can screw on. Yeah. I'm hoping that works with this. Um, yeah. But we'll see. So it's just sitting here. And also, I bought, I don't know if I told you, I bought a whole ring uh, home security system. You did not tell me. Okay. So I bought the ring camera and chime because I didn't okay. have a ring camera in the house. So that's for the front door. Then I bought a ring uh, floodlight camera. Okay. Floodlights and the camera for the back, you know, patio sliding glass door. And then I bought the whole house, 14 piece. Um, security system, which has two keypads, like you can do eight windows, uh, two motion sensors, and I'm going to be installing, I'm going to be doing a video for each one, how to install a ring doorbell camera, how to install a ring floodlight camera, how to install nice. a home entertainment center, or a home, home entertainment system, home uh, security well do that system. Too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I haven't, I should be putting that shit up as fast as possible because that's why I bought it, but I'm waiting until I have time to do the video. So hopefully no one breaks into my house in the time. Well, just put I'm just waiting. put it up, but film it, and then edit the videos like kind of no, I know as you just, can. It's a pain. So right that way you at least have the video footage. You don't have to worry about like okay, I have to budget out time to shoot this and like just do it. Just set up a camera. I was doing the uh, door lock install it from midnight to three in the morning on Friday. Jeez. So we'll get into that next <laughs> portion of the show. <laughs> And uh, I have some initial thoughts on the lock system already. Ooh, that's usually not a good sign. He's going to wait four months to do a, re a review video. Might not have to wait four months. We'll, well see. Well, no, you just, when you do the install, when you go, all right, initial impressions. Hmm. Well, I said at the end of the video, I'm like, initial impressions, we have to see. Because I just okay. put it in. So we have to wait a few months. So I might not wait the four months that I mentioned in the video, well, which I could... will be releasing tonight. Okay. So he's like, give it a couple weeks, right? Do an update of like, okay, these are my initial impressions, and then your four month review. So you give it a chance. I don't think it's gonna make it four months. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's not good. No, and then I'm walking through Menards today because oh. I had to go get wood for I have to do this bat display case. Holy shit, that's like three weeks. It has to go in three weeks. So I went I was gonna get maple. It's a Kyle Schwarber autographed bat. It's a nice. maple bat. So I was gonna get a maple hardwood to make yeah. the case out of and just finish it natural, natural finish. So it would look like the bat, but, um, maple is one. that's really, really expensive. Uh, two, I only needed two one by eight by eight this morning. They had four that was showing on my app before I went to bed. When I went back this evening, cause it was raining during the morning. And so I didn't want to drive in the rain with the wood sticking out of the back of the truck. They had one. <laughs> Need two, so I meandered well, down to two. the meandered down to the red oak section, and I bought two one by eight by eight red oak boards. So it'll be red oak. I don't know if I'm going to stain it or not, but anyways, um, I got that and some plexiglass and some paint and some other stuff so I can get to starting on this damn thing tonight. And we'll talk about that too because I wanted to ask you about different ways of joinery when i do that thing so we'll talk about that uh what else is going on oh i sold my mortiser today oh wow so i listed it i think i told you for 300 dollars, right correct on, uh, facebook marketplace it was up for a day and then some guy said i give you 200 dollars," and i said no and i thought maybe i just missed my the boat on actually getting <laughs> rid of this thing and uh some guy said i'd like to buy i'd like to see your mortiser and i said okay he said can i come by and look at it today and i'm like yes of course i'll i'll bring it upstairs into the garage because i really don't want a stranger in my house yeah right and he said and i said it has to be in the evening for obvious reason and he said oh i was hoping to see it with a lot of light and i'm like it's still light out at six and i got a garage light you know it's light in my garage yeah but then i thought 
he, he said, okay, all that's fine. We can see it on the table. And he said, a little bit about myself. I'm 75 years old. I'm a veteran, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, eh. nobody cares. Well, it makes a difference to me because I thought, well, maybe I can actually trust this guy to come in my house. Plus, he's 75. I could just kick him in the shin and he'd be out. That's true. He, yeah, I feel pretty confident that you kicked the crap out of him. All right. So I decided not to move the 80-pound mortiser up into the garage and then have some guy show up and not want it and have to bring it back downstairs. So I set it up on my bench, one of the benches in my shop, and I, I took some pine out that I had laying around. Did I ever tell you that you shouldn't put a mortise in pine with a mortiser? Only because pine sucks and it's really soft. So the mortiser hey, cutting pine it. pine is fine. Pine sucks. Um, <laughs> it doesn't cut as clean a mortise in pine because the wood's too soft. You know what I mean? So I, I just tested it to make sure it, was, it worked last night with some pine. And then I brought over a piece of oak that I have sitting around. And uh, he came down. I think he spent an hour here. Uh, cause he's a woodworker and he's 75 years old. You know, we, we got the talking about the woodworking and this, these building tables and some other stuff. And he buys most of his tools secondhand, like we try to do. Yeah. I didn't tell him I only paid a hundred dollars for the mortiser. He doesn't um, need to know that. No, but I, I gave him a whole brand new set of bits for it. Uh, big ones and small ones. And then, uh, showed him how to some operate as big it. As your head. Not as big as my head, but probably as big as my thumb, I would imagine. But do you get the joke? The joke? No, it's not another Pornhub reference, is it? No. Okay. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Deedly, deedly. There they are, standing in a row. Big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. Okay. Uh, you don't. You don't kind of sounds King familiar. Reference oh. at all? I mean, I know there's probably some other reference before that, but I know it from Lion King. Okay. I don't. I didn't memorize the songs from Lion King. I did. Although I did I had go the, back. I had the sing along video. Oh, awesome. I love the movie. And we went back and they re released the animated version maybe five years ago. We went to go see it in the theater. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we went to see the live action version of it, which wasn't that bad, surprisingly. It was I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it was okay. So he spent an hour here. Uh, he tried it on the he tried it on the pine first. He didn't he's never used one, didn't know how it works, so I had to tell him. You know, that bit that goes down there, there's the square bit and then the drill bit that sits inside that square bit. The square bit has one side that's open and it has to be either the right side or the left side. So when you're cutting your piece and the drill bit itself is working its way down, it brings the uh, wood up and out and discharges it out of that open side. And you're supposed to move the piece in the direction of the open side. So if your open side of your bits on the left, you move the piece to the left. And you cut your mortises, you know, as you move it to the left, you cut them to the right. So I explained that to him. Tried it on the pine. Pine sucks. Tried it on the oak. Much cleaner mortise. He was very mm -hmm. happy with it. Uh, apparently, he just had surgery to remove a mass out of his stomach like seven days ago, and he's not supposed to be running around. So it's like, can I trust you to carry this up for me? I'm like, I'm certainly not going to let you do it and drop dead on my stairs. <laughs> I don't have that kind of insurance. So it was fun, man. He, we walked him upstairs, and then. He didn't even haggle the price. Three crisp one hundred dollar bills. Said thanks a lot. It was it was nice meeting a, a pleasant person. And he said thank you very much for showing me your shop. I really appreciated it. So it was cool, man. I you know I I gambled and I didn't get murdered. So whatever. It's always nice when that gamble pays off. <laughs> yeah, it's just the one time it doesn't. That's going to be a problem. Yeah, it's, that's the one time that. <laughs> God damn, I shouldn't have let that guy in my house. I regret this decision. Hopefully whoever's left in my house would have a weapon to avenge my death the minute it happens. <laughs> well, you got to yell it with your dying breath, too. Avenge me! <laughs> right. Speaking of avenging, Hunter, my son, just went over the next phase five and phase, phase five and six of the new Marvel timeline. So he, he was watching Bob's Burgers, the, the movie. Mm-hmm. But when I sat down to kill time with him for a few minutes, he's like, oh, dad, did you see this yet? And he paused his movie and then he read off every TV show and movie that's coming from Marvel the next two phases. So I was excited to see some of those um, titles. You say, is it, a, is it a lot? I haven't had a chance to even think. Yeah, about it's, it. a, it's a lot. Uh, and phase five will go till the mid of 2024. And um, wow. the new Daredevil 
show is going to be like 18 episodes on Disney Plus. I'm so wow. excited, man, because that is one of my favorite shows of all time. So, and then Thunderbolts, and it, it listed a whole bunch of movies. So, my whole Google feed is just like Marvel and superhero <laughs> shit <laughs> and woodworking. So, but I get wrapped up, and sometimes it says, um, you know, Superman did this or Spider Man, Batman did that. And I'm like, what? And, but it, they're actually talking about the comics. So I have to go back in there and say, not interested in the comics. I don't want to know about the comics. I want to know about the movie stuff because I don't have time to read the I've, comics. I've done like, and this happened when I had way more time on my hands, but I would do like deep dives when I'd see that thing of like, oh, yeah, like this superhero did this. I'm like, all right, cool. What's this? I'll read a summary. I'm like, Oh, no, it's in the comics. I'm like, okay, well, it's this story arc in the comics. So I like type it into Wikipedia and like, just give me the summary, like give me the Cliff Notes version. And I would do that for hours and just read all these different story arcs and just be blown away. And like, I don't have time to read all the comics, but that looks freaking awesome. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, the, um, the phases one through four were the infinity saga or one through yes. three. So four through six is going to be the, from what I read today, called the multiverse saga. Okay. Because they're gearing up for Secret Wars and all this other stuff. For two Avengers movies in one year is going to be awesome. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. And I saw oh, Top Gun over the weekend. You finally saw it. Not once. You finally went so, to the danger zone. Yeah, I did. Um, I was asking my wife since May, hey, do you want to go see Top Gun? And she's like, no. I'm like, what do you mean, no? It's like... Who doesn't want to go see Top Gun? It's freaking Top Gun. I know. So then my buddy, um, Neil, who I go to like a lot of the Marvel movies with, mm -hmm. he's on the day shift schedule that I'm on the night shift. So we have the same days off. So we try and catch all the Marvel movies together. And he's like, he's been asking me for weeks. When you go see Top Gun, okay, we'll figure plan a day. And then it doesn't work out. Or then I'll wake up on a day off and he's got a message. Hey, you want to go see it tonight? Well, no, I can't go like drop of a hat. I need a day advanced. So finally, um, well, we are, he was on vacation this past week, but he texted me and said, do you want to go see it Wednesday or Thursday? And I, I'm like, I mean, uh, Monday or Tuesday. And I said, no, I can't because we were doing the podcast on Monday night and then I had yeah. stuff to do on Tuesday. So he's like, okay, this weekend. So I said, all right, fine. So we went, I was waiting to hear from, from back from him. And, and before I left for work, uh, Thursday, Kim goes, oh, my brother Johnny's birthday is Friday. And he and dad and Tony, her other brother, want to know if we want to go see Top Gun. I'm like, been asking you for, for three months to go see Top Gun. And now you want to go with your, and I'm <laughs> oh, going. Now, to, now you want to go? And I'm going with Neil on Saturday. So you want to go Friday? Yeah. So I went with her on Friday night. And then Neil texts me. He's like, so are we on for Top Gun or Thor tomorrow, Saturday? And I'm like, whatever you pick. He goes, have you seen either one of them? And I'm like, nope. Seen both of them. <laughs> So nope. I go, you just pick. He's like, all right, Top Gun. I'm like, cool. Dope. <laughs> and I cried both times watching that movie. <sighs> Friday and Saturday. Just because it, I saw that first one in the theater. We were in Florida, I think, on vacation, Kim and I. When we saw the movie down there in 1984, whatever the hell it was. 88, I think. What, what year did it come out? I'll tell you in a second, because... Uh, all I know is I was on vacation and I specifically went to see Top Gun and I loved it back then. And of course we grew up now that movie's obviously one of the greatest of that era, right? Of the 80s. Oh, yeah. It's one of the 100%. greatest movies of all time. And we've only, all of us have seen the movie probably, I'm not lying when I say 60 times easily. I've seen that movie. I have seen Top Gun no less than a hundred times. Okay. Yeah. So I was way underscoring how many times I've seen it. But it came out in 86. Okay. So okay. a year before I came into existence. <laughs> and I saw it in the theater. <laughs> so just that. There's that. Oh, Faltermeyer did the music, right? Yeah. And there's that bell sound. That. that doom. Yes. It, ooh, it just gave me goosebumps <laughs> again. Every, Perfect pitch. Right? Every time I. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, geez, dude, my arms are all goose bumped up. <laughs> Every time I hear that sound from the movie, it, it just gets me. And then to see it again yesterday or the last two nights, and I the second time I seen it, and second day in a row, I would I didn't blink. I absolutely loved the movie. Um, I've been a Tom Cruise fan, even though he's kind of out there as a person. 
Uh, but the fact that he intros the movie, right, I, is amazing. I yep. thought I've never seen that before. Um, yeah, that's I've, the first time I've ever seen that. Right. And then I I've read all kinds of stuff about the movie. What as I've been, it's been in development. It was supposed to be out two years ago because of COVID and COVID came. Mm-hmm. I know. I've been pissed. Right. <laughs> so I I read stuff that each actor had their own camera in the planes. Mm-hmm. And they were responsible for turning it on and shutting it off before they passed out. They had to do a vigorous training session because they were going to be in these planes. None of it is fake. It's those all G's real. they're pulling. The, it's effing amazing. So, and the plane he takes off in at the end with uh, Jennifer Connelly, mm-hmm. he put uh, James Corden in that plane. Did you see that skit on James yeah. Corden? So hey, we lose an engine. Yeah. Well, how many engines are there? <laughs> Uh, one. one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to flip the plane over and plop you out. <laughs> plop you know what? Out. <laughs> the I get plopped out. <laughs> uh, he was responsible for the those actors t- pilot training. But And the part of that skit with Corden, he's like, but you're not a pilot. And Tom Cruise is like, no, I am. And he goes, well, you played a lawyer and, and a few good men, and I don't want you to represent me in a case <laughs> either. So <laughs> no offense. But he is actually a, a, an established pilot, which yes, is yeah, amazing. He, he didn't end up getting his pilot's license and everything. Like, he, he flies knows, all those things. Yeah, he he knows what he's doing. It's insane how much what you, what you can do with money. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> obviously he might not have been a pilot when he did Top Gun, but he's been a pilot. He's become a pilot since, yeah. and actually a really good one. So I just not like, not like Harrison Ford who crashes all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking to get my. Big 80 inch TV back before I get the Blu ray of the new Top Gun. Top Gun you could just like stream it in 4K, right? Yeah, I don't have a 4K television though. So you got to get one. I know, but I want a big one. So get a big one. It costs like three grand. Well, how bad do you want to see this in like 4K? Jointer? Big screen TV. See, you're looking at it wrong. Jointer? Top Gun in 4K. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, Danny, my buddy Danny, has a 77-inch um, ultra-high-def 4K, my some man. spectacular TV that he just swears by it. And that's why I bought his 75-inch at a discount for like $400. And it finally took a crap on me like last month. It just went oh. out. So he's like, do you want your money back? I'm like, no, dude, I, I bought it yes. from you. It yes, just I happens. Do. Yeah. So he said that on his... It's an OLED, 4K OLED. In his television and anything that's black, like your shirt or shadows, those dots shut off. So it's true black. It's not like the color black. It's nothing there. The whole movie is crisper. Oh, wow. or the whole show is crisper because there's no black pixels. There's just nothing if it's a black. And then the gradient of black. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like the new Batman movie, he said, looks better in his house than at the theater obviously because in the mm-hmm. theaters it's a dark movie yeah shot dark so in the his picture it really showed up better with all that darkness but yeah so i've looked at those televisions and they're like twenty eight hundred dollars worth if, it yeah if i sell you know <laughs> seven eight 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 flags maybe i don't know there you go get on it <laughs> get on it so I, I like half that in, in big ass flags. Yeah, right. I went back to my client's house on Tuesday evening to finish putting the last piece of base shoe down and then um, caulking everything and then touching up the paint and stuff. So I got some final pictures, but I haven't posted them yet. I meant to, I posted a thing on Instagram and asked if I should, you know, post those pictures. Yes. And uh, I don't know if any. I didn't look it, at what it, it was 50 50 when I voted oh, and okay. I feel like my vote should count for two. So, I mean, I agree. What did you vote? I voted. Show me the pictures. Oh, okay. So before the top is on it, I should post the pictures. Yeah, do it before, after, and then like, right. I'll post the pictures. And then she left me a really nice, she gave me a $200 tip. Very nice. Um, they want me to build built in bookshelves on each side of the fireplace. <laughs> when I get more, she says, I'll wait till you get the stuff done in your house that you need to get done. And then you come back and do this. I'm like, okay. Uh, and then she left me a really nice email that I actually want to take the text out and put it in my stories, you know? Yeah. So 
I don't know if you saw the. I just posted a story a little bit earlier about some asshole who left me some hate speech on, on my YouTube channel. Some motherfucker. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I cropped it and uh, just posted the picture of the text. I haven't, I haven't been on my phone for a few hours. So, hold on. I uh, yeah, posted it twice for some reason. Be. All right. Why I posted it twice. Is it still on there? Yeah, it's the last two things okay. in my stories. No, no, I just want to make sure that the comment is still on YouTube. No, I think I... Oh, come on. I reported I this hate this speech. Guy. I want to be sure to tell him that he can go straight to hell. And that there are some uh, other things that uh, he can uh, do to himself. To do to himself, yeah. Oh, poor dickhead. Sometimes I hate people, Brandon. I often times hate people so yeah, much. I know. <laughs> it looks like we have um, three police officers this week. Yeah. Let me check the dogs. Oh, I can check. I'm right here. Okay. Uh, we re- last recorded on the 18th. Um, June. Nope. Drago. What threw me off when we did the last Drago was that we did yeah, a, there's two a previous Drago. And I'm like, wait a minute. I think we did a Drago. It it threw me off too, and I was looking. I go, hold on a minute. But these other names don't look familiar, <laughs> right? All right, you want to swing on over to the show? Oh, I suppose let's do this. All right, or we can just swing on over to the show. That's what I just said. Swing yeah. away, Mike. Swing away. Hey, uh, thanks for listening to the pre-show, episode forty-nine. The forty-nine er episode. Oh geez, here we go. Yeah, forty nine er episode. God, I I can't let you do that. And you know what? Stadium hosted Super Bowl fifty. Levi Stadium. Yeah. So the forty nine ers hosted Super Bowl fifty. <laughs> Whatever. They weren't anywhere near it. No. As a they, team. Well, that's but, the first year that Jerry World opened the new stadium in Dallas. They hosted the Super Bowl that year, and they didn't get anywhere and they near were it either. Awful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they all got some nice tickets that they could go and watch it, but no, they were. Whew. You know what I saw on Instagram today before we get out of here? Um, because I follow the Bears on Instagram too. Uh, Bears. They're, they're going to have orange helmets in October. Really sharp looking. Oh, is that their like alternate helmet well, that they, they're doing? They w- yeah, as everyone that must be because they've yeah, always so, had the orange jersey that they wear in October. Yeah, but they've never changed the helmet. And I, I know Dallas was going back to the white helmet on Thanksgiving with the blue star. Yeah. And I saw the Bears orange one. Yeah. So the NFL has had this stupid ass rule for a while now that every team is only allowed like one helmet. Well, they changed that this year. So now teams are developing these new alternate helmets like the Jets have a black helmet. Oh, uh, the Eagles are doing a black one. OK, the, the Texans are doing a red one that looks really clean. That's cool. And I think I'm trying to think of what uh, the Panthers are doing a black one. And what else? There's another one I saw that was pretty, pretty slick looking. But yeah, there there's a lot of teams that are coming out with these uh these alternate looking uniforms. I think like Tampa Bay is going to do like their creamsicle uniforms. Oh, with awesome. The, with the white helmet. OK. Yeah, I like a couple those times. Uniforms, and I think the 49ers what... are sticking with their like 94 throwbacks. OK. Which is awesome, but at the same time, like we get it. That was the last time you won a Super Bowl. Let's move on. But I like the blue. I mean, I like the red and white. I don't like the gold trimmed 49er stuff. I like the red and the white yes. numbers so and letters. That, that was before the red and the gold and the weird. Okay, right. The That's stuff that the I uniform remember going, I'm used to. Yeah. So yeah. the very first, like the, the first game I remember watching is the 49ers Super Bowl in 94 when they beat okay. the, the crap out of the Chargers. So that's the uniform that they use as their throwback. Okay, I'm. I just sent them to you. Texted okay. the pictures to you because I think it's sharp, man. I I love it when when teams develop new uniforms, except for the uh, MLB's City Connect stuff. I cannot stand yeah. the Giants one. I just no, it's horrible. Can't. Like I like that they use the g on the chest i w- i love their batting practice helmet. i wish they would use that oh that is slick i like it right yeah it's pretty cool if anybody I listening as the kids like to say, say that is fire yeah roquan roquan smith looks pretty good in it um 
Kim sent me a couple articles I'll just mention loosely as we go along. Okay. All right. Let's All right, start let's, the show. Let's start the show. Everyone, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. All that bye. stuff. Peace. Okay, bye. Bye.